expressed. I've been reading my own mammograms for years, and I even had had a normal mammogram and tomosynthesis or 3D mammography as well in January. I got the MRI and, and looked at it as soon as it was finished and said, oh, I have cancer. We give a range of four categories when we're reporting the mammogram from mostly fatty, scattered fibric glandular tissue, heterogeneously dense, and extremely dense. Uh, and when we talk about dense breasts, we're really talking about those latter two categories of heterogeneously dense or extremely dense breasts on the mammogram. Unfortunately, cancers also are relatively dense. They have more cells per unit volume, and they also look white on a mammogram. And so they will sometimes be hidden by that dense tissue, in fact, fairly often. Uh, we know that the mammogram misses at least half of the cancers that might be there when the breasts are dense. And in a fatty breast, we can find up to 98% of the cancers. You don't have to just accept uh, that fate has it, you've got dense breasts and can't do anything about it. Um, there are many things that can be done. One is to consider having more effective screening. So not just stopping with a standard mammogram. Uh, we have many options now that are better than a standard mammogram at finding cancer. Patients may qualify for supplemental or added screening with MRI which is extremely sensitive. It's the most sensitive test we have to detect breast cancer and it detects it early. Another option and one that's becoming very widely available now is tomosynthesis, which is the so-called 3D mammogram where we can um, find distortion and some cancers much better. We can see within a, a very thin slice of the breast is there a mass or not uh, and that can help us find cancers. Um, and then another test that I've been very much involved with is ultrasound, which is very good at seeing through dense tissue. And the question is, are we educating women and doctors about what to do? And it's that next step that is so very important, otherwise all the effort that went into getting the laws passed is not going to help anyone. At least asking the question of facilities, what information are you providing to your patients, even if they're not currently providing that information, the simple act of asking the question may motivate them to think about it harder and then start providing that information. But if I hadn't advocated for myself, Known I had dense breasts so that the mammogram was limited, known that I had risk factors and considered those risk factors to make my decision, I would not have had the testing that led to my own diagnosis. Mm -hmm.